top of the morning yet again. It's the date master checking in. We got a deep conversation. I'm going to talk to the black man, the black male in this society. Has the black man lost his family and divestment culture? Fellas, what you're seeing again, women, our women, I wouldn't even say our women because they, they're technically not ours. They're the government's women. They're pretty much vocalizing that they no longer want to commit to you. They no longer require or demand or desire being married to the black male. There are a few reasons for this mindset. Number one, social media, media propaganda, and intentional design to divide up our families. This is one thing we must always keep into consideration. Whenever you see the strife, the turmoil, the drama and issues going on and plaguing the black community severely at higher rates than others, you must understand that there is some type of outside tampering involved. The question again remains, has the black man lost his family? Because what's going to take place and I did a video on this prior to is we're going into a dystopian dating market and society. These women that you're seeing vocalize such narratives have one thing in common. They're modern. And they're self-entitled. A lot of the reasons why many black women are no longer seeking marriage. I did a video about this maybe a year or two ago. The new narrative is all women do not wish to be married or I was not put here on this earth to be married. They think they were put here on the earth to get good jobs, make white corporations rich and richer. Go on trips and by houses that they have to stay alone in and protect. This narrative only goes so far to where they'll be singing a different tune. And then by that time, you're going to see the regretful and the painful acknowledgement of their decisions coming to fruition. You see this a lot on some of these shows where these older women try to come and give wisdom. You don't really see it too much because a woman's ego is the most interesting facet about her. She would rather be wrong and dead than right and alive and correct herself. She would rather take her wrongdoing and decisions to the grave painfully versus acknowledging and admitting to her mistakes and being saved or seeking salvation. But this divestment culture that you're seeing is going to continue. This is something that's going to continue because this mindset is going to be passed down to the children. The baby mama and the baby daddyism is continuing to grow. It's, it's, it's continuing. Nothing is changing. I've asked myself plenty of times, how in 2021 do we still have newly made baby mothers? How do we still have this baby when you you can look outside your window and see the, the, the pain and the struggle and the outcomes that women get from being a baby mother. Yet these women have cheese lines going down the street to become a baby mama. And this is all because this is the in crowd. This is the new dynamic. This is something that's being accepted. I seen a, a clip on Kevin Samuel show where this woman said she wants to have kids and he's asking her, well, if you don't get married, you're still going to have children. And she hesitated to answer yes, but we ultimately knew that she was going to do whatever she wanted to do anyway, with or without a husband. She will go and find a suitable mate with somewhat good genetics, whatever the case may be, and trap him or manipulate him, him into giving her a baby. 
in my humble opinion, I believe the black family dynamic has been crippled and it will take another generation or two to correct. Because with this mindset, these women are running into their 40s and changing their mind at 45. I see women on the Internet. <laughs> 40 plus years old talking about relationship goals. Talking about this is how me and my bae is going to be when they're 40, 43, 44. Talking about what their future dating life is going to look like. These women sell themselves dream after dream after dream. Not knowing that this message that myself and others is spreading like wildfire. Now, the offset of this is that women are now making these narratives to counteract the men walking away. I, I, I told you guys in other content that whenever a woman sees a issue that they cause, they try to get in front of it to make it seem as if they were in control of the results that come about. These women that can't get married or have all of a sudden have this, I don't want to get married. Um, I'm happily single. This narrative comes once they've pissed away all of their options and opportunities. This mindset only comes when they are not qualified or eligible for marriage and commitment from men of means and value. They try to get on the front of this to make it seem as if they were the one that determined or made the decision that they don't want a man. So that's why they, when you hear their standards, their standards are through the roof. They know innately that no man of these said standards are going to greet or pursue them or engage in a, a relationship with them. So they set the bar so high to give them an excuse to why they're still single because no man can meet these standards. This is one of the newest tricks that they've come up with. Live a certain life, make mistakes, see the fallout, try to get in front of it with a narrative that pretty much complements or uh, supports their bad decisions as if they're the ones making the choice to not be married Last time I checked, women are not getting down on one knee in mass. Yes, you are seeing a lot of videos. You're seeing a lot of clips of women proposing to men. But these are the women that have sense and they understand what's taking place. The real truth is that men are not looking to marry. Black men specifically are, not, are no longer seeking marriage. This is the real truth. Black men and, and in a large group of numbers that is steadily growing by the day are no longer seeking marriage with black women. They're going out of the country. They're going, they're shopping out of state. They're going to different areas of the country. But again, you really can't go out outside of your state and think you're going to find different. You may find a little diversity as far as ethnic background, but in most cases, the Western mindset covers all 50 states. The Western culture, cu culture and the uh, egalitarian mindset to where most of the women think they're equal or if not better than you, it covers all 50 states. So the real truth is that men are not looking to marry the black woman in droves. I tell you guys to pick wisely, choose wisely. You only choose who chose you. And even then you have to take that with a grain of salt and you have to appraise that daily weekly monthly however you see fit because what women do the most the thing that women are looking to do the most when you like again when you listen to the standards that are somewhat reasonable they're still looking for a place of complacency they're looking for a place to get comfortable because they're not built for the long haul of work they're looking for someone to take the load off these women tell you that they're not looking to go 50 50 with a man yet they're paying 100 percent of their bills they come from a single mother home they never seen their their mother in a wifely role yet they think they're supposed to get the supreme treatment from a husband it's pure delusion it's pure delusion now again back to the initial question 
the black man has not lost his family, but the family of old, that is a thing of the past. I want to say I read a stat that said 52 percent of men, male and females under the age of 18 are people of color. This country that is predominantly white will no longer be that way in the next 50 to 60 years. You will have the mulatto complected race, complected population because of the interracial dating. And the men are going to go and seek other races of women to procreate with. The black women will be exiled. They'll come up with their own way of a way of life. The same way you see in, 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 in China and other countries to where the population disparity is too large and these women have no choice but to live and die alone. This is the future that they've created, so they must accept it and they must develop it. However, that whatever that looks like. This is the Date Master. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.